Hi everyone, so a little bit of a different video today. Um, I haven't really been doing much individual training with either of my dogs recently, but um, as this is my kind of video diary of what I do do with my dogs, I thought I would share today's video on the gun dog training holiday that I recently went on with a few friends. So I took Ivy with me um, and we went over to Colette May over in Wales. Um, and she runs gun dog training and gun dog holidays under her business Completely Gun Dogs um, and her holiday accommodation, it's self-catering accommodation, I think it's Midwell's holidays, but I'll include links to it all in the comments below. So if you are interested in checking it out, um, then you can go through and see what she has to offer. Um, I'll also include below some details about the uh, trainers who I was away with. So I was away with Emily, who is based in Buckinghamshire in High Wycombe area, um, Jay, who's from Milton Keynes, Lindsay, who is from Sheffield, and I met Emma for the first time, who's based in Wales, but they're all fabulous trainers. Um, Emily, Lindsay and Colette all have some online training options too, so even if you're not local to them, if you're looking for some additional training support, um, please feel free to go and check them out. So I'll include all the details for those guys in the comments below as well. So to give you a bit of an idea about where we were, this is a picture of Colette's venue. It is absolutely stunning. And so there were five of us on the holiday. And on day one, we started off with a little warm up and then we did some retrieving exercises. So to start off, we created a bit of a hot spot. So in this video, you can see the beautiful Springer Spaniel Evie sat up in front watching everything going on. And Ivy is about to do her marked retrieve from the hot spots. This is the first time she's retrieved from this spot. There you see her running out. Um, she searches around a bit. It wasn't her best mark, let's be honest, um, but she does find it and bring it back. And we were creating this so that they had a zone and a place where they had history of successfully getting retrieves. And then we used that to help us with some directional casting as we were working towards achieving um, blind directional casts. Um, we then went on to do some handling. So this is Lindsay and her Labrador Hobbs. He is an amazing retriever. Um, so this was just a little exercise, lining and sending him for a blind when we had a mark, I think it was a mark, it might have been a memory, um, that had then been placed out to the right. So we started off with some basic handling stuff just to kind of warm the dogs up, um, warm ourselves up and kind of get a gauge for the level of the group, I guess. Then the second part of the first morning, we went and did a bit of a walked up exercise. So we were in a different area. Um, we had a boom box at the top of the hill with a number of dummies that had been placed down blind. The dogs were hunting um, with the retrievers walking at heel behind. The boom box would sound and then either we'd continue hunting and doing our thing or we'd turn and a dog would be sent for one of those blind retrieves. Ivy did a really really nice retrieve on that exercise although um, her hunting did get a bit wild halfway through. I think having so much shot going off in that exercise um, sent her over the edge a bit but after bringing her back down putting on her lead calming her down a bit she did finish up that exercise quite nicely so I was pleased with how that went. And you can also tell by the look on her face how much she enjoyed it. <laughs> and then in the afternoon, we moved to a different field and we did a huge variety of exercises, actually. I think we covered steadiness, we covered heel work, we covered um, lining, retrieving, directional car, stop whistle. So we really did it all. Um, and then we realised at the end of the session that there was a retrieve that had been left up um where we were hunting earlier so Hobbs and Lindsay uh, went out and Hobbs was lined and sent to go and get this which was essentially a blind now um took a beautiful line over that obstacle hunted lovely in the area found it in the bush which you can see and then came charging back and absolutely flew over that jump back to Lindsay and it was so beautiful to watch um it was really really lovely so I thought I'd just include a clip in here because he's an awesome dog and Lindsay's an awesome trainer and handler so just a nice way to finish the day really and then we moved on to day two day two started off using the remote dummy launcher which was a intense for Ivy but here you can see all the dogs sat up um looking towards the launcher the launcher makes its little quack noise and shots are fired and it was a real steadiness test for all the dogs so first off we just did shots um and dummies being launched but no dogs being sent and then we did a few more repetitions where dogs would be sent so this was ivy remaining steady to a couple of shots and then being sent out for one of the marked retrieves from the dummies that had been launched so she really struggled at the start of this exercise 
Um, I had to work through it a lot with her, but as you can see from the end result of our last bit, um, she did well. So I was pleased with it. We worked through the challenges and we got a nice successful result. And actually her response to shot throughout um, the holiday really, really improved, which was nice. Um, after that, we did a final drive where everything got shot up and thrown about. And then we all moved location. Um, and then the dogs were lined and sent out for um, the retrieves that had been left there. So this is Jay uh, working her lovely little cocker Nix, lining and sending her out for one of the retrieves. She took a beautiful girl, line, picked the retrieve and came straight back. So you can see that all the dogs were doing really, really well. Um, they were all being set up for success, which is what I loved about this um, little holiday. And then we ended that part of the day with some retrieving over obstacles. So you'd see a mark's just been thrown in this kind of jump pen. So you can see here that Ivy was taking her time to work out how she gets it and then she finally concluded that she needed to jump over. Um, but we gave her the time to work it out, she picked it, she came back, she fumbled on the return so it really wasn't the best retrieve. Um, but we then did do this a couple more times and they were much much better. Unfortunately I didn't get those on film but that was a nice little exercise for us to finish up there. And then we moved into the woods and played about with the bolting rabbit. So Ivy initially ran in and then we worked through it and she was getting much better. So I filmed it and she ran in on the one that I filmed. So that's sod's law. Um, so then I put my camera away and just focused on training my dog. And we got some nice success with that as well. We ended up being able to heal around while the rabbit was bolting and she um, didn't run in. So that was great. Then to finish day two, we moved to a different wood um, and we did another kind of walked up scenario. So getting the dogs hunting, shot was fired, dummies thrown. Um, and then dogs sent for retrieves or stopped and they had to wait for the other dogs to do their job. So another really great day. Ivy was absolutely shattered by the end of it. Um, this was her the morning of day three and wasn't sure she was prepared to work. But then we moved into the mountains on our third and final day of the holiday. So while we were up there, again, we did a mix of things. We started off doing some hunting. So here you can see Ivy working the cover of the mountain. A um, little bit wild, but within the realms of control. Um, we also did some various different retrieving exercises while we were out there. So this is Emily and her Springer Spaniel Evie doing a memory retrieve into the cover. You can see that the mist did descend on us, um, but when it lifted, the views were absolutely breathtaking. It was beautiful up there. Then the next clip, it is sped up, um, but it's Lindsay and Hobbs working again, doing some retrieving. So he was lined and sent for some more complex blinds. So he went and picked that first one, brought it back, and then he was lined and sent on a slightly different angle for another blind and he had to uh, work not to be sucked into the previous hotspot of where he just found that last dummy and find the other one. And he handled beautifully, did an incredible stop, um, directed onto it, found it and brought it back. So that was absolutely beautiful. Nice work from Hobbs. Then we did some more walked up style hunting. So you've got the Spaniels all out in front um, and the Retrievers walking at heel behind. As we were going, Colette would fire shot and throw dummies, and so Ivy and I were focusing on trying to um, improve our stop to shot. We got some good tips and we made some progress, but definitely not the finished, polished result yet. Um, and then we moved on and finished our time on the mountains with some dummy launcher stuff. So here you can see Ivy remaining steady to the launcher going off, then being sent through that kind of barrier of cover at the bottom of that yeah. dip, I guess. Uh, then being pushed back through it to go and find the retrieve and bring it back. And she did that beautifully. Um, so I was super pleased with that. And then for the second half of the final day, we went back to base and we did some cold game retrieves. So Colette had, a, I think she had a partridge, she had a pheasant, she had a rabbit. Um, Ivy, however, didn't retrieve any of the cold game. Now, I know she can retrieve cold game. Um, I think she was just tired, if I'm honest, but Colette let us take some home. So when we got home, I did have a practice with her and here you can see her picking a partridge absolutely perfectly. So I'm not too worried about that. I think she was probably Good just job. exhausted. Nice. And then after doing some simple cold game retrieves, yeah. Um, for the others, well, Ivy sat and watched and was extraordinarily steady. We moved into the woods. Um, the cold game was hidden out and along with some dummies. And we had to kind of do a bit of a sweeping up exercise to make sure we'd picked everything in the woods. 
It was a really brilliant few days away, so much so that I am going back in January and then probably again in September as well. So I would really, really recommend it. It's just great to spend time with like-minded people and their amazing dogs. So as mentioned at the beginning, I'll include links to all of the trainers um, and their details in the description box. Um, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.